This morning, we're trying to help you understand the symptoms and effects of the coronavirus in our area. Dr. Ben Springate, the Chief of Community and Population Medicine at LSU Health Sciences Center, is back answering your questions about the coronavirus. Let's get right to them. This viewer wants to know, should we be changing toothbrushes more often than usual? Also, is it safe to floss if you wash your hands really well first? In my review of the American Dental Association website, I did not see any guidance specific to changing toothbrushes more often than usual. Um, I do believe that if you um, wash your hands uh, thoroughly with soap and water for 20 seconds, you should be safe to floss. And flossing is, of course, a recommended um, health practice. I never even thought about that. All right, another question. There's a lot of Facebook posts about drinking warm and hot drinks. They say doing that can help fight the virus because the heat will prevent mucus from building up and it moves the virus to your stomach where acids will kill it. Is any of this true? Um, there's no specific evidence that drinking warm liquids um, will have any particular benefit as far as preventing or treat treating the virus. Um, the virus lives in a variety of different parts of the body once one does become infected um, and any benefit, theoretical benefit from drinking liquids would be, you know, um, overcome soon thereafter. So that is uh, a myth. Thanks for clearing that up for us. Another viewer, how often should I change my gloves when disinfecting my doorknobs, countertops, light switches and other items around the house? Well, I, it, generally the gloves would be considered a one-time use item. So if you're going to go ahead and make the effort to clean off things around the house, I would encourage you to consider um, um, getting rid of them uh, thereafter um, and replacing them with another set of disposable gloves the next time you decide to go around and make that cleaning sweep. Something that the governor said yesterday that I thought was really interesting, he said this tests are not designed for people who are asymptomatic, that it will not um, give a positive test result. Can you tell us more about that? I think, you know, um, what the governor was probably trying to say is that the likelihood of there being a positive test result in someone who has been infected is going to be significantly higher in someone who has the, the um, virus replicating and that they may have, for example, nasal secretions, runny nose, a cough or something like that. Um, it, one can test positive even if asymptomatic, however, um, um, but we are at this time really restricting the use of the test because we don't have access to an unlimited supply as many as we would need to test the entire population. So we're restricting those tests to people who are actively symptomatic. And I believe that was the, the message that the governor tried to get across. All right, Dr. Springate, thank you so much. Guys, we're taking more of your questions regarding the coronavirus. That's coming up at 7 o'clock on WUPL. Text them to us now.